thanks for clicking on the video. Many of you will be familiar with this bushcraft camp, whether it be the log cabin, the wigwam shelter, the roundhouse, and there's also a few other smaller structures or shelters in this woodland. One shelter that I never really use is this one. This is the first shelter I ever built here. I probably built it about four, maybe five years ago. But it's a shelter that I've almost forgotten about. I've neglected it. You can see a lot of the debris has fallen off the tarp. And what I want to do is I want to rebuild it. How? I don't know. But I'm asking you to let me know what you think. How do you think I can improve this? What should I do? And what I mean by improving it is, well, I'm gonna start by taking everything down, clearing the area, and then I'm gonna rebuild my shelter. But I don't yet know what to build, so I would like you in the comments to tell me, please, what you think I should build right here. So a lot of this paracord I'm taking off, I'm not cutting it off, I'm just, I'm just, um, I'm just saving it and I think I might reuse it. So it's about an hour later, and this is what we've ended up with. Just one big long bed. Hello. So what I might do, what I might do is, because I'll need a bed in the next shelter, I'm quite tempted to saw down the middle of these and then keep one half to use as my bed. So one of the hardest parts of shelter building is actually finding the materials, sourcing the wood, removing the branches, cutting it down to length. So these are the materials that we've ended up with. We've got these long lengths. These are about five meters long. They could be useful for a roof structure possibly. Then we have these, these are about three, about three meters, about three, maybe three and a half meters long. What well, it says about six of those. No, there's not, there's about five of those. 
I don't know what to do with them, but I'm sure they'll be useful somewhere. And then I've got these shorter bits. You know what, there's a shelter right here. It's just working out where the instructions are. And that's where you come in handy. Please let me know in the comments below what you think I should build. And then we've got a few more bits here. These are about, what, one and a half to two meters long. And then there's this. This is a Y stick. I quite often use these when I'm shelter building because if you take two of those and the length of wood, you can lock in that length of wood, giving you almost a, a pyramid of a shelter, which is very solid and you can then build around it. So yeah, it could come in handy. And then there's lots of this left over. This is just leaf mulch, debris, bits of twigs, bark, anything and everything from the forest floor. And what I want to do with it is reuse it. So that's why I've dragged off what I could without ripping the bottom of the tarp. I've left this pile. Uh, I might need to push it back, but I'm thinking about building the new shelter right there. I don't have a huge amount of wood or of resources, so I need to keep it. What I want is for it to be big enough for myself, for amber, so maybe make a bit of a bigger bed, um, and maybe wider rather than longer. And then also, quite possibly, I'd like to put a wood stove in there. Size-wise, I don't know, anything, possibly a four meter by four meter area, that kind of size. Roof, lean-to, uh, on an angle, I don't know. Should I use the plastic? I don't know. Let me know in the comments section below. What should I use? Should I recycle everything that I've got to make it super waterproof or should I just keep it natural? Didn't realize there was one under there. So that is it for this video. Thank you very much if you're still watching. Please comment, I do read all the comments and thank you to everyone last week that commented on the species of dog that you have. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the red button, subscribe, follow the journey, follow the progress, follow the build, comment on the build, tell me what to build and I'll build it. See you next week, goodbye.